Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. Let's take a look and see what's coming in for you. At the time you're watching this, always take what's resonating and leave out the rest. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually goldy on all platforms. And if you are interested in a personal read done by me, all of that information will be in the description box below for you all, for you to view the different options for readings. Okay, let's take a look. We have the Knight, the King of Cups, Three of Wands, Ace of Cups, Nine of Wands, and the Page of Wands, Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. Okay. Ooh, so... Yeah, I feel it. Some of you are feeling drained. You're feeling like you've, you're kind of pouring from an empty cup. Hmm. Or you've just, you've emptied out your cup to the point where it's like you have nothing, nothing left to give. And it's gotten tiring, exhausting, but... I do see that you are reaching the end of a, of a cycle that has been very tiring or, or a struggle for you, okay? But it also does start from you pouring into others' cups from the overflow of your cup, okay? Not from a cup that's filled halfway, not even when it's filled fully, but from the overflow, okay? So some of you have, like, you've emptied your cup. You've emptied the like your your energy emotions love you've emptied it out you've given to the point where you don't you feel like you have nothing left to give right and this is this is just a sign to pour back into yourself pour back into yourself say no <laughs> if, you know say it say no more often when people ask you for things say no it's or or if you can, it's from the overflow of what you have, right? From a, coming from a place of abundance. Because I'm seeing that it is a cycle. It's like the more that you pour, or you pour everyone else's cup first before yours, you always end up feeling drained at the end. You always end up feeling. Um, like you've you've given so much of yourself and it, it's you're not feeling like you're getting that same reciprocity so everything in moderation some of you have been giving um excessively right or maybe the opposite maybe maybe it's you've gotten to a point where you feel like you've kind of blocked off your heart where you've given nothing either one feels like in some way it drains you or in some way it is um it feels like it, in some way it just feels like you've kind of gone down this cycle of not feeling truly fulfilled okay but you are about to enter a very spiritual partnership it's your connection to your spirituality or God is what is leading you towards your ultimate fulfillment. It is what is leading you towards um, a happy ending for yourself. A spiritual partnership. Happy ending. The spiritual partnership you have with yourself. It's, it's sacred. This is a time where you are about to create a very sacred space for yourself. A sacred space. A partnership with you and whatever higher power you believe in. It leads to your happy ending. You are going to get a happy ending here, okay? It does feel like you're tired, but you are reaching the end of a cycle, okay? Something is processing. It's like your ship is coming in. It's this energy of, of loading. Your happy ending is loading. It's already in process. It's all, The ship is already on the way, and like now it's, it's coming. It's already on the way here. Okay. Why the Ace of Cups reversed? Judgments. Okay, this feels like it is a rebirth that you're about to have. 
a new emotional experience, a new relationship that is going to be very spiritual, sp again, spiritual partnership. This feels like you are needing to make some sort of choice or judgment here about a new beginning, uh, how you want this new beginning to look like for yourself. It feels like this is a new beginning that can truly uh, offer you the fulfillment that that your your soul needs that your soul needs it's like what does your soul need right now what does your spirit need right now how can you fill up your cup how can you pour into yourself how can you honor yourself at this moment by the nine of wands the hierophant and the chariot this is, things are moving forward here, even if it feels like, even if it feels like you've gone through a few cycles, you've, you've won some, you failed some, it's like this, the process is, of growth is still, it's still happening. It's like, you're up one day, you're down one day, you're even higher the next day. It's like an ongoing process that you are moving towards learning learning how to uh find this emotional fulfillment within yourself with this hierophant here this is this is a lifestyle commitment that you're making it feels like the beginning of a new spiritual journey for you that you're committing yourself to that is the fulfillment in your life it's like what keeps you going, the rock that, that keeps you stable, or the anchor that keeps you stable. I want to see, what is a spiritual partnership? King of Cups is here. This is water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Very giving, emotionally um, compassionate, empathetic person. Love partnership. Ooh. And personal growth. So your personal growth is attracting a love partnership that is based off of a deep spiritual connection. It's like a, a, a partnership that is equally yoked. Both of you having the same type of um, values or belief systems. It's your personal growth right now is what is attracting this to you, even if you're not even realizing even if you're not even realizing it, but you are going through such a huge growth um, moment right now. And it feels emotional. It, like it feels like some of you are maybe doing a lot of purging or a lot of tears are being shed. It feels like um, things have been very emotional for you in, in, in a way that like, it just feels like you're just tired of this kind of the same thing kind of going on back and forth kind of feeling like the odds are against you but but this is all part of the journey it's all part of the journey and it's all part of your happy ending the journey that leads to up to your happy ending surrender this can be hard <laughs> this feels like you are being given no other choice but to let go, but to surrender. Surrendering to the outcome. Surrendering to the process of life. <laughs> surrendering and allowing things to unfold. That's where you will find the least amount of resistance here. Your happy ending. Okay, it's coming through. The more you, you try to resist, the more tiring it gets or the more it just feels like you're being met with challenges and blockages or just delays the more you let go you let things unfold i'm resistant of of the path that's unfolding or the emotions that come up for you is ultimately what is it feels like what i, I want to say like bringing up to the surface what you what you need to know Hmm. Bringing up to the surface what you need to know. Why the Three of Wands? The Page of Cups. Oh, a pleasant surprise. Invitation, love, offer, message. 
Incoming. Incoming. I'm seeing, um, um, yeah, I'm seeing a pleasant surprise that is, that's coming in. Hmm. It feels like, yeah, it feels like you have this King of Cups coming through. Who's been in the process of um, materializing for you. Why this King of Cups? What does this King of Cups want with you? Emperor. Okay. Leadership. Whoever this person is, they're in a very um, big leadership position in their life. Four of Wands, invitations, offers. This person wants to take things up a level. They want to take things up a level here with you. They want to get serious. They want to progress things with you. This may be even them offering you a relationship. Someone who wants to be in a relationship with you, a new relationship, a spiritual partnership. For the long term, though, so this is someone who's thinking long term. I'm also seeing parent. So somebody may be a parent or may have children. If you have someone in mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see how they feel about you, about this situation with you for the rest of the month. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands, the Magician, Seven of Cups, Queen of Wands, Eight of Swords. Hmm, okay. So, whoever this person is, they're seeing you as being frustrated and they're feeling it's interesting with seven of wands because she has like this thing covering her face i want to say like this person feels like revealing something to you why the seven of wands reverse that's their feelings the chariot queen of swords Okay, so I see this person feeling like something needs to progress here. Something needs to happen or move forward as soon as possible for there to be success here. But they, they feel a need to like, uh, it feels like they're very protective. I'm getting this energy of them being very like, protective of their of their energy of um are feeling a need to like protect themselves or not reveal too much they're coming in to reveal something to you but also at the point where it feels like they're there's still things where they're wanting to be quiet about and this is frustrating you this person does show up as like having options with that Seven of Cups here. Hmm. Someone who's getting a lot of attention. Why are they seeing you as the Queen of Wands reverse? Five of Cups. Okay. Interesting. So this is someone who may be like pretty successful and is getting a lot of attention. And it, it may be bringing up some like jealousy or um, insecurities in you. And they're, or they're feeling like you're getting insecure about something here about what what they're being offered with or the people that are um like calling them messaging them emailing them <laughs> why the magician though What's their intentions with you the hermit. Hmm. judgment so it seems like this is somebody who is has intentions of manifesting something deeper here with you but it's coming from a place where they have doubts hmm yeah and uh, they're needing to make a, a, a judgment or a final choice here so it feels like this month they're considering their options or their choices and based off of that deciding whether or not to make a deeper commitment 
It feels like they're confused. Like they're confusing me. <laughs> they're confusing me. They're confusing the mixed signals. Talk about mixed signals. It's like, what do you want? <laughs> Yeah, it feels like this person this month is kind of getting you out of alignment. It, it, they're confused. It's confusing you. They're giving mixed signals. Their their intentions is to take the lead and deepen a commitment, but they don't know what choice to make yet. This month feels like they're still keeping options open. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. And you know what's funny is like we have this guy like signing all these autographs. Like somebody, I'm picking up whoever this person is, like they're giving attention to other people. They're giving their attention to other people um, or they're kind of like thriving off of this attention that they're getting. And it's to the point where they've kind of like um, started to treat you differently and you're like hey like what's going on you know like why did you change or switch all of a sudden okay that is not this king of cups let me just say <laughs> it is not this king of cups page of wands is like oh they got a lot to learn or they're kind of thriving off of like the ego boost that they get from other people the attention that they're getting from others okay Oh, I feel like we need one more. What else do you need to know? What else? Nature, environment. Okay, some of you are needing to touch grass, like a moment to like touch grass, go out in nature, change your environment. A spiritual, like your spirituality is really showing up right now. So it may be the time to kind of like connect deeper with yourself. Um, pour again, pour back into yourself here. Because, again, things are still unfolding. Things are still loading here for you. You, At the end of the day, you you are getting a very beautiful, uh, happy ending for yourself. But it, but it may be time to let go or surrender something. I'm seeing the numbers 14, 81, 27, 93, 63. Those numbers could be synchronicity, special days. I'm seeing the letters D, E, S, P, H, E. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.